Hey y'all, hey, it's Rain and I'm back with another installment to my wedding vlog series. These are champagne flutes. And if you've been following the vlog, you're probably white like, why in the world is she doing more glasses? I think I told you in the last video that I wasn't sure if I liked the glasses that I came up with, though they were cute, they were wine glasses. And after I did my cake cutting set, I just felt like I needed something to match that more. I needed something that was just a little more or, or I should say a little less crafty, but more elegant. And I saw these glasses at Hobby Lobby and I stood there and debated and debated and I finally decided to pick them up. They're by his and hers. You'll find them in the wedding section. I went during the 50% off week. So they're regularly about 39. Um, and so I ended up paying, or, or 30 rather, and I ended up paying about $20 for them, something like that. But you can get them for 50% off. I was inspired by these because I was in Things Remembered which is one of my favorite stores. And I went there to look at their champagne flutes as well as their cake cutting sets, which is how I got inspired to do my own cake cutting set. And they really didn't have a, a champagne flute set for the bride and groom that I liked, largely because they're predominantly about engraving. Now they did have some nice things, just nothing that I really wanted. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but finding these was a godsend. And so I'm gonna sit here and play and try to video this live is not really a tutorial because I have no idea what I'm about to do to be perfectly honest with you but if you want to see how they come out stick around for what the end result is coming up right now holding this glass I just want to make a, a simple note here these are really awesome now these feel like some of the ones I picked up in things remembered and I actually saw a glass set in things remembered that had um, the hearts on them and they had Swarovski crystals in them these are probably not Swarovskis that are on there but these are very very similar so if you're looking for an alternative to something you see in that store I definitely recommend these. They're very heavy. They feel good. They feel very, very well made. I think I was expecting them to feel more aluminum or plastic, I think, but these are very well made. So if you've never bought Hobby Lobby wedding glasses, I would say consider it, at least this particular set. This is, this is absolutely stunning. Okay, so here's a before and after. I decided to take some of those crystals that I had and add them in to fill in the heart. Uh, it looked good before, but I like it a little bit better now. That was just the first idea that I came up with. Of course, if you do this, you can certainly take it or leave it, but I wanted you to, to see each one side by side with the hearts filled in and one without. I actually like how this came out. It's starting to look more and more like my cake cutting set, starting to be more reflective of me because if you know me by now, I love bling. So for me, there can never be too many crystals. So I really didn't know what I wanted to do next after blinging out the hearts. Um, but after thinking about it, I decided to take the rhinestone wrap that I had. Now I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's by Metal Gallery and every other week you can get it for 50% off. It's regularly $19.99. So to me, it's worth the wait. You get about four and a half yards of it. You can also find it on eBay and you'll get about 30 feet. So take it or leave it. I did 30 feet last time for about 13 bucks. Um, but I took that wrap and decided to follow the groove that was already on the glass and then sort of make it wrap around the bottom half of that stem all the way down to the base. And I really, really like how it came out. I think it matches that cake cutting set way nicer than the other set I had. You know, for some, this might be a bit much, but for me, if you know me, you know, I love bling. And so I had to do it. I had to do something to make it match 
more. This wasn't really a tutorial, more of a walkthrough, but I hope you got inspired to do something for your wedding or for your tablescape that is really special. And until next time, next vlog installment, remember you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Have a beautiful day. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.